Nathan, uh, so Airbnb uh, has a huge China market opportunity. It's growing globally, but China is still a little bit of a untapped market for you. I heard that 700% growth in outbound uh, Chinese travelers might be using Airbnb. Is that not too optimistic? Well, that is what we saw last year, a 700% increase in the number of Chinese travelers using Airbnb to go abroad. Um, and I think that really speaks to the greater trend uh, that the world is seeing, which is that Chinese travelers are now the number one in terms of international travel spend. I believe it's 120 billion now, uh, compared to the US and Germany each at 80 billion, which is the second largest. So uh, China has really risen in terms of travel and we're experiencing that on Airbnb as well. So what is the Airbnb's uh, future strategy? Where are you heading to in 2016 in terms of market outlook? Well, we're certainly going to continue to invest in China. Uh, we've opened an office there and we're going to further uh, integrate the product with, uh, with partners and, and the services that are common uh, in China to make for a better user experience. Um, and we expect similar growth uh, to last year. Um, and that's because we have 2 million homes in 191 countries around the world, um, which offers a great way to experience local culture. Uh, so just continuing to double down on what we do best uh, I think is a, is a good strategy. Uh, we are doing some new things. Uh, there's a focus now on business travel. Um, business travelers are 10% of all Airbnb travelers. Um, so a small segment, but a growing segment. Exactly. So at the moment, you still have most of your clients uh, from the young people segment, backpackers, etc. How are you going to attract more business clients? A number of things. Uh, so first, we're making it easier for business travelers to find what we call business-ready listings. Uh, these are properties that have uh, a desk and high-speed Wi-Fi and 24-7 access. Um, you know, basic amenities like that that you can expect to have without any questions asked. Uh, so that is one thing. Um, the second thing is just partnering with businesses uh, to really explain the value proposition to them. The value proposition is that for employees who are staying for a longer period of time, maybe one week, two weeks, uh, this is a more affordable option. Um, this is also an option that allows employees to uh, kind of get a more local experience while they're on the job, uh, which a lot of employees prefer. Um, so there's a number of things. Also, if you're traveling as a team, uh, coworkers can kind of get a big house together uh, and, and kind of bond and get to know each other better. Now there is a speculation that uh, Airbnb might be planning an IPO. Talk to me about it. Well, that, that speculation is not new, uh, but, but there is no immediate plans. Um, we're privately funded, we're very well capitalized, um, and uh, our investors uh, are not looking for liquidity, so there are no IPO plans. So yeah. your funding flows are stable and growing? Yes, we raised quite a lot of money uh, later last year around June time. Uh, that was about $1.6 billion, so we're very well capitalized.